these two things might actually start a new series here called Holy Shit That's Cool. I always want to bring new things to you guys that actually I think make my life a whole lot easier as a photographer and filmmaker and these two lenses have done just that. They are the Pictor Zooms from DZO Film. Uh, they are a T2.8 to T22 on both of the lenses. There's a lot of things that actually make them really, really special and I want to go over them with you. So you might be wondering why I'm so excited about these lenses. First things first is the focal length of both lenses. We have a 20 to 55 T2.8 and the 50 to 125 2.8. Um, the other really cool thing about these lenses is the focus zoom and iris gears or the fizz gears. The, um, they actually are all in the exact same position on both lenses. I know it might not look like it from here, but the, the gears actually do line up. Where am I at here? Okay, cool. It's just the 50 to 125 is a little bit longer on the nose. In fact, in the box, they actually come with uh, these lens support brackets. You just have to put them on with Allen wrenches. Um, both of these lens support brackets, which are a 3 8 hole, those are actually in the exact same position on both lenses as well. So what does this mean? If all the gears are in the exact same position and the brackets for the lens support are all in the exact same position. Why does that matter? So the reason that that's really cool is lens changes are much easier and much faster. If you have a fizz motor on there, or you um, obviously with these lenses, they're, they're relatively heavy. I would always recommend having a, uh, like a lens support bracket on them. It just makes it much easier when you don't have to move anything on your rails, okay? So if everything's in the exact same position, you can just do a lens change, pop the new lens on, and make your adjustments and you're fine. You don't have to actually move anything on the rails, which I know it might not sound like a big deal, but in a rushed shoot, it really does make the difference. So let's go over the other cool things about these lenses. The front diameter is 95 millimeters, which is awesome and works perfectly for clip-on matte boxes. It actually has an 86 millimeter filter thread if you wanna put something on there and run it a little bit more lightweight than just a clip-on matte box. And both of these, the, the inner diameter of the filter thread and the outer diameter for a matte box are the same on both lenses, which is also very, very cool and also makes lens changes super, super quick and fast. The other cool thing about both of these lenses is they both have a 16 bladed iris, which is really cool. It doesn't matter if you're at T2.8, which is its widest aperture, or you stop down to T22. Um, you're actually gonna have really smooth bokeh throughout the entire range, which is really, really nice. So even if you stop down to F8, it, it, it doesn't matter. It's actually gonna still be very smooth bokeh and not have jagged edges on it. Both of the lenses come with a PL mount and an EF mount. This is an EF here, and all the lenses come with a PL mount. Um, they do come with the EF mount, like I mentioned, and then all you have to do is actually um, take the PL mount off uh, shim it properly, which it, uh, it actually does come with uh, the proper shims, and then uh, you can convert them into EF. Same thing as if you have them in EF and you need them to be back in PL, you can switch it back to PL. So I've been crazy busy, and I have been shooting with these on different projects and doing some tests and stuff. Unfortunately for you guys, I don't have anything I can show you that's released yet. So uh, that's why there will be a part two to this. Uh, I plan on taking these out and just kind of shooting for fun. If you have any questions, feel free to leave that down below. If you want to see more of these lenses and what they're capable of, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to, follow me over on Instagram. I'm going to be able to show a whole lot of behind the scenes with these lenses and a whole lot more. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next one.